Hello everyone, this is Saurav and welcome to Orissa Post Live and these are today's top headlines. Observing that the well-being of doctors is a matter of national interest, the Supreme Court constituted Tuesday a 10-member national task force to formulate a protocol for ensuring their safety and security in the wake of the rape and murder of a trainee doctor in Kolkata. An apex court bench headed by Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachud said the task force will submit its interim report within three weeks and the final report within two months. A joint team of Bhubaneswar Municipal Corporation and Food Supplies and Consumer Welfare Department raided Tuesday vegetable vendors at Unit 1 Market in Bhubaneswar to keep the soaring prices of potatoes and onions in check. Potatoes and onions were sold at Rs 40 and Rs 50 respectively at many markets in Bhubaneswar. The second phase of the Odisha Assembly session began on a stormy note Tuesday, with the Congress and BJD creating a ruckus over issues pertaining to the college union elections and inaction against the governor's son. This situation prompted the Speaker to adjourn the House within minutes after the commencement of proceedings. Congress MLS demanded immediate holding of students' union elections, which have not happened since 2017. Asutosh Panigrahi, who had allegedly killed Monday his cousin sister Priyanka Panigrahi, died at the MKCG Medical College and Hospital Tuesday morning. While trying to flee the spot, Asutosh had suffered serious injuries after falling off from a bus. The Odisha government is forming teams to tackle monkey menace in several districts of the state, Forest Minister Ganesh Ram Singh Khuntia said Tuesday in the Assembly. Each forest division will have one team, the minister added. The centre asked Tuesday the UPSC to cancel the latest lateral entry recruitment amid a row over reservation in the advertised posts. Union Minister of State for Personal Jitendra Singh wrote to UPSC Chairman Preeti Sudan and asked her to cancel the advertisement so that marginalized communities get their rightful representation in government services. The UPSC had August 17 issued a notification for recruiting persons to 45 vacant positions. A POXO court in Jaipur has sentenced six accused in the sensational Ajmer sex scandal of the early 1990s to life imprisonment. Poxo court judge Ranjan Singh also slapped fines of Rs 5 lakh on each of the accused identified as Nafis, Chishti, Naseem, Salim Chishti, Iqbal Bhatti, Sohel Ghani and Saeed Zabir Hussain. They were convicted of being involved in the crime, prosecution counsel Virendra Singh said. The Ajmer sex scandal came to light in 1992 after more than 100 girls were victimized by the gang. The Supreme Court came down heavily Tuesday on the West Bengal government for its inability to prevent vandalism which took place at the Arjikar Hospital in Kolkata on the intervening night of August 14 and 15. A three-judge bench headed by Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachur stated that the government must ensure that the miscreants are arrested and FIRs are lodged against them. Several hospitals, including Ames and Safdarjung, received Tuesday bomb threat emails, prompting authorities to launch searches on their premises, officials said. The mailing list mentioned around 50 government and private hospitals, including Ames, Safdarjung, Apollo, Mulchand, Max and Sir Ganga Ram hospitals, police said. The Supreme Court observed Tuesday that protesting doctors should resume work as healthcare is suffering. It stated that the concern of the doctors is being looked into with utmost respect. The apex body also asked the CISF to provide security at the R.G. Kar Medical College and Hospital in Kolkata so that doctors can resume work. Filmmaker Karan Johar said Tuesday that blockbuster success of horror comedies 3-2 is a celebration of both Hindi and Indian mainstream cinema. He emphasized that good storytelling and content is the only way for success at the box office. Stri 2 released in theatres August 15 is nearing the rupees 300 crore mark globally in gross box office collections. That's all for today's top headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live.